Hey, we're for Lisi Davis. Congratulations on making your major league debut. Can you take us a little bit through the emotions of what you were feeling when you found out and what this day was like for you? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, it was first I, I mean, first I've been in the big leagues. Uh, and I just was like focused on get a fastball and make a good contact and happy to be here with all these guys and keep learning. When did you find out that you were going to be making your debut? It was yesterday during the practice. The day Robin, he, he come to me and he said, hey, you, you starting tomorrow. You got to be made. I my family right away. Did it help a little bit that you had caught Dustin May so many times before? Yeah, I caught him in Green Lakes, Low A, and Rancho, Double A, and Triple A. Yeah, it was, yeah, tell me a little bit. How long has this been a dream for you? It was when it was five years old when I started playing baseball. I mean, it's the, the dream was. All the players want to play in the big leagues. What did uh, Julio Tehran give you that you were you just like waiting for that fastball? Yeah, I mean, I was ready for for the fastball, and th thanks God, I, I get a, a good good call. I know that Travis Barbary was in the uh, stands watching you today. How important was it uh, for him to be able to witness your debut, considering everything he and his family have done for you? Yeah, I mean, I'm very grateful with, with his family and me, and yeah, it was very exciting when I saw him here today at the stadium, and he's, he's like my dad, and I'm very grateful with, with his family. Congratulations. Thank you. Next question is from Ron Kavner. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, Gabriel, can you just kind of take us through what that's like when you when you hit that pitch and then to get to celebrate with your with your teammates in the dugout? Just what's what's that like? It's fun, man. <laughs> it's a dream come true. With all these guys, like a lot of players, and I'm just very grateful to be here and keep learning from, from there. How much – oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, very grateful to be here with the coach, and they, they helped me a lot, and, yeah, keep learning. How much had you been working on your swing at USC, and, and what were you trying to kind of – do with your with your swing especially uh the power this during the, the last few weeks yeah i mean i've been working a lot with brownie with all the coaches here to make adjustment and, and get a, a better resource and i mean i keep i want to keep working and, and see what happens thank you next question from jp hornstruga jp Hey, Caber, congratulations, first of all. Um, I saw your teammate try to go get the baseball, and I'm just wondering if you if you got the ball and, and where that ball is going. It's going to my to my house, with my mom, my dad, me, to, to our family. I mean, thank God for, for this moment. It's a very good moment. Uh, talking to some of your coaches, it sounds like you were able to work out a lot and get a lot of good development in after spring training was postponed, but before you came here to Los Angeles for summer camp. Can you just talk about what you did and, and some of the improvements you made during that time? Yeah, I was working at Arizona, we, like I said before, with, with Brownie, working on my low, lower half with my legs. And I was jumping a little bit. I mean, and I, like I say, I, I'm gonna keep working and and be focused for for, for the next time, next, next opportunity. And I'd heard that your power from the left side had really come a long way at USC, and that you were hitting just really tall, high arcing home runs over the scoreboard. Um, how did today's home run? compare uh was this something that was this a kind of home run that you could have hit a year ago sí, yo digo que, uh, yeah i say like uh, yeah like i said i've been working and when i get to usc i get more bats and i feel better and 
yeah, get taller a little bit, you know, don't jump with my leg. And like I said, I'm going to keep focus on that and keep working, keep, keep learning from, from these guys and from this team. Thank you. Una pregunta de Claudia Gesto. Adelante. Qué bien, felicidades, primeramente. Expresa la emoción en el dogao con tus compañeros después de pegar tu primer cuadrangular en las grandes ligas. Sí, muy, muy emocionante, de verdad, con, con todos estos jugadores de estrella y, y feliz, contento y agradecido con Dios por, por, por este momento. Es algo que uno sueña desde pequeño y gracias a Dios se hace realidad. ¿A quién le dedicas esta pelota? A mi papá y mi mamá. Tu mamá. Ahora, ¿qué te parece la experiencia ahora que estás así sin los fanáticos? Es tu primera vez, tu, tu primera experiencia. ¿Cómo fue? Sí, no, yo digo que no me, o sea, estaba nervioso, pero si hubiera gente, obviamente, hubiera estado más, más nervioso, pero es, <risa> es, es la grande liga y, y aquí hay demasiado talento, muchos jugadores y, y seguir trabajando. Última pregunta es tú y Dustin May se conocen muy bien, trabajaste con él en Spring Training. ¿Qué es lo que te encanta del trabajo de él? Sí, sí, he venido echando a May desde Green Lake, desde la media, y me gusta su energía, la energía que él tiene, este, la mentalidad que tiene ahí a pichar, o sea, emociona a uno también y lleva buen ritmo de juego. Muchas gracias, felicidades. I got time for one more. Go ahead, Ken. Are you at a point in your, uh, in your swing development that you think you're now going to become a power hitter? Um, I mean, like I said, I'm going to keep working, keep doing my things, and what happens, well, yeah, I would like to be a power hitter, an uh, uh, average hitter, but I just want to keep focused on get better every day, keep learning from these guys, and, and be focused for the next opportunity. Gotcha.